All right, gang. Welcome back to our Pioneer Challenge on Alone in the World. It's November, day one. Uh, you join me as I've actually in the process of chopped down. Well, I chopped. I chopped down multiple trees that were in the way of this big field, uh, which we're kind of on the edge on one way or another. If we're going to make it into one big field or split it into two, still don't know what I'm going to do with that. But you can see that I have spent some money, minus the amount of money that it costs us from a loan and from everything else over overnight. Um, and I talked about doing firewood in the last episode. Clearly, I did not do firewood because we did not have. We still have plenty of money in comparison to what that cost. That costs about forty-five thousand. What do we do? Well, let me show you. So we've got a wood uh, production over here. Now you might be asking, well, what's what's it do? Is it just selling wood? Is it making pallets? It's not doing any of those. It's actually doing something that we have done before. Except we have never utilized a production, per se, to do it. Uh, we've utilized a mod of some sort. Now, let me pick these over here. We're going to have to chop them up a little bit. But I'll show you what I'm talking about here in just a second. We're going to have to cut them in half just so we make sure we get the, uh, the full amount here. We don't want to lose any of this. Now, this right here should be our money maker for us. This should make us plenty of money to the point where we shouldn't, in theory... I'm air quoting, you can't see me. We shouldn't have to worry anymore about having to carry all these trees back down to the cell point, which is far away. Especially if you look at where this is. So our main farm is down there. There's our mill, which we have yet to utilize, right? So this is kind of at the back area of our of our our uh, our land. You can see on the little mini map I just popped up here. There is a bunch of wood to the left of where we are, this way. Bunches of wood there, and then a little bit of a smaller section here. But these are the sections we're going to be utilizing for the foreseeable future. As I mentioned, I don't really want to take those trees away yet until I really figure out what I want to do up there. Uh, so we're going to start with these over here. Now, talked a lot. What am I? What am I putting in? What are we? What are we doing with this wood, Z? Come on, tell us. Well, I'm going to make you wait for two more seconds, and then I will tell you. Well, there they go. Just gave it away. This is a stationary wood chipper. Now, from what I can tell, it does a pretty quick job of turning these trees into wood chips. Now, I don't know if it's as fast as... I, well, I, I know for a fact it's not, but I don't think it's as fast as the uh, Tree Devour mod that we utilize. But uh, this is a different approach to doing the wood chips than what we had been doing before. A little bit more difficult, certainly, but this, again, is a pioneer challenge, so I didn't... As much as I love that Tree Devourer mod, I wanted to try something different, but I know, you know, wood chips are really going to be a key for us to be able to, uh, succeed more, and be able to build, you know, more and get bigger, be bigger, better equipment, and be able to, uh, accomplish this at a faster clip. So, due to that, we're going to utilize wood chips once again, but this is a different way to do it, so I'm going with it. So, right now, there are 10,270 liters of wood chips. I took the one tree that we had chopped down and just kind of was laying in the middle of Jester's area. Brought that over here, just as a test, basically. I knew it was going to work, but just testing it out. Just to make sure. And then, uh, yeah. So so that's where that 10,270 liters of wood, come, wood, uh, wood chips came from. But, we've got to sell this. Now, where... I already forget where this is. Uh, do, 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 do. Where is the cell point? Right there in the middle. Okay, perfect. And you can see how fast it just chops through that wood. It's certainly not as fast as the Tree Devourer, like I mentioned, but that's still pretty damn quick. I mean, it's going through that quickly. Now, what are we going to do with these wood chips? Well, right now I have them store them. I think I'm going to just going to sell them outright. Entire time. Because we're going to be stuck into June no matter what anyway, uh, once we get back to June, right? Because that's the, the month we have chosen to stay on. So let's just sell them outright. Now, I don't know when they sell. I, th I would assume it's every hour, but it could be every day, right? We might have to wait until the end of the day before they sell. So we'll see what happens when 9 o'clock comes around. Now, again, I, I don't really love doing a whole lot of woodwork, um, recording of woodworking with you because it's not, eh, it kind of, it can be nauseating, I guess that's what I'm going to put it. Um, probably not everybody, but some people I would, I would assume could get a little nauseated based off of it because it's not, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not the most... Uh, ideal to record um, woodworking stuff. It, it just, it's... 
especially in a time lapse format, it, it's just not it's not the best. So uh, sometimes it's better to not uh, do wood on, on on camera. I guess is what I'm trying to get. At. I'm kind of long winded. <laughs> it's a long winded re way to say it's not the best to utilize wood for time lapses. But uh, now this tree is not the best uh, for putting this in here um, because it has so many different vines and well, vines branches uh, coming out. So it's not um, it's not really the best situation but we will uh, we'll do what we can here to try to uh, make it work and I know I probably could get more out of it if I did it a bit of a different way than I'm doing it but we're gonna go about it this way so but how's everybody doing today hope you're doing well if you haven't heard already if you didn't check my post or my discord or anything like that uh, I was uh, a little bit stranded there for a while, so that's why there was no video on, uh, well, I guess it would have been Tuesday for you, right? Yeah, Tuesday. Um, I was a little stranded. Um, in Florida, I got stuck in a hurricane, so uh, I couldn't really get home. So all my flights and everything were canceled, so. It is what it is. Nothing I really can do about it, so. But I'm back. We're ready to go. I'm a little groggy. I uh, got in. I'm doing this recording uh, the night that I got in. I got in, landed at 1, like, 15-ish, 1.30-ish, something like that. Didn't get home until about 2.30. Probably didn't get to sleep till closer to 3. I needed to shower and all that from the from the plane and everything else, right? So, um, then I had to work today. So, it was a long day, let's put it that way. But uh, I'm trying to get a couple of these pumped out here. Now, I don't know how long this video will actually be, given the fact that most of it is going to be um, doing tree work and, and maybe, you know, working on this, but uh, I want to see if, if we're able to get any uh, any money at 9 o'clock or not. If we're not able to, if they wait till overnight, then it might be a little bit of a shorter episode than you're used to. Um, I'll probably do a little bit more tree work. We'll do a little bit of cultivating, maybe a little bit of mowing. Um... I don't know yet. We need to get some more grass in there for silage, I think, but I'm trying to kind of rotate around the different things we have to do so then it's not every episode doing the same thing. I'm not doing silage every episode, or I'm not doing tree work every episode, or I'm not cultivating or drilling every episode. Now, the cultivating and the drilling are probably a little more enjoyable to watch, but I think you get what I mean, right? Just trying to change it up, trying to keep it fresh. Um, things like that. So, let's back this up a little bit here, and we'll chop it down. I think I'm going to turn this back on. It's just easy right now until I'm fully familiar with... Well, it doesn't really give me the square there, but I know we need to make these around 8-ish meters, right? Something around there. I don't know if this is going to be 8 meters or not. I, without having extra mods like uh, the guys do on, on PC, I'm, I'm just kind of guessing. 9.6. So it wasn't bad, but it wasn't really the best cut either. Uh, somewhere around there, maybe. Nine point, oh, that was even longer. Whoops. Way to go, Z. Way to go. Any case, um, what I'm gonna do now is I'll just jump off camera for a little bit. I'll get some more of this wood in here. I'll try to get back on camera with you when it gets close to nine o'clock. Regardless of how many trees I have on he in here, whether it's one more tree, two more trees, five more trees, whatever. Um... And we'll see what, uh, if, 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 if we get money at 9 o'clock or if we have to wait to the end of the day. I'm hopeful that it's at 9 o'clock, even though that's a little bit unrealistic, all things considered. But I'm not kind of hopeful for that, but, you know, you never know, right? I'm going to say that they're probably all in there. Yeah, that's pretty good. So let's uh, let's get let's see what else I can get in here. Let's see if I can get the rest of these that I've already chopped down that were in our way for this field. Right, we had to get rid of them to be able to really uh, successfully cultivate this field up. Anyway, uh, ideally, I'd like to get a bigger tractor and a bigger cultivator. But uh, I mean, I, I don't suspect that the amount of trees we have in there and the wood chips in there are going to be able to afford that. I mean, that's probably going to be a hundred and eighty grand probably to do all of that. And I don't think we're going to be anywhere near that. So. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens, though. Let me get these uh, pulled over there and uh, chopped down and try to get them put into the, the wood chipper and see what happens. 
All right, we're nearly there. I got uh, a few more in there. I chopped a few from this section here. Uh, my goal here, just to kind of give you a little bird's eye view while we're waiting here, is to uh, make a track going this way. I want to get rid of these trees specifically first because I want to have a track kind of wrapping this way and then through the middle here, which I had talked about doing before, right, because it's a kind of a hill. So put a track here and then have it connect up here. This is kind of where my vision is, at least, at current, uh, to come back here. That way, whenever we have stuff in the ground here, we can still drive back here if we need to. Uh, we did just flip over, and wow, we're up to ninety-one thousand dollars. Ho 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 ho! Okay, yeah, this this might be a little OP as well, but uh, we'll we'll try to keep it relatively within reason so we don't go overboard. If that makes any sense. Uh, now, what's in the used market today? I haven't looked. Uh, that tractor's still there, uh, so I'm 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 highly considering getting that tractor. I think. At this point, now that we have 91 grand to our to our name, we can easily get a basic harvester too, a little bit better than that cheap one. Um, yeah, let's let's buy it. Let's buy it, dude. Let's do it. You guys know I love wide tires, so I'm gonna have to get some wide tires here uh, with weights. I like wide tires with weights. There's no dually option, so we'll go with that. I don't care about that front loader attachment. We have one on the small tractor for now. I don't think necessarily we need it at current So we can always just upgrade it later. So let's just do that. So let's go ahead and buy it sixty three thousand one hundred ninety four dollars This is a great start right here gang What this now means is we can probably Fingers crossed here probably upgrade our cultivator, which is really the goal that I wanted to try to accomplish today with the wood chips, right? We've got a lot more wood chips. I can do a lot of that off camera. Um, I'll try to show a good portion from now, from time to time. And I, like I said, I'm not going to go overboard at all with that, given the fact of how much money we just made. Uh, it could also be the fact that we're not technically set in June yet, but we'll kind of gloss over that a little bit, I suppose. Uh, but I think you, you get what I mean here, right? So um, I'm going to see, let's see, it has... 120 horsepower, so not much more than what we currently have, actually. Um, but that's okay. It's a better it's a better tractor for doing the actual field work, right? This is not really ideally meant to do field work. It, re it really isn't. Um, so, uh, cultivators. I don't know if there's going to be one we can get or not that's bigger. I don't think so. I think most of them are need they need 140, 160, something like that, right? That's only a 0.5 meter width difference. Really, we want this one, which is 180 horsepower. We could try it, but my my fear is that it probably won't work. So I might have to try that off camera. But regardless, let's go down there and uh, let's pick up our uh, our tractor. And it will be better for doing woodworking as well, right? It's going to be better than this tractor. We've really put a lot of damage on this tractor, as you can see. It, it's, it's taken a beating already, so... Um, yeah, and we need to fertilize those. No, we. I know we don't. Mm, ooh, we might need to do it once. We might need to do it once. I gotta. I gotta look on the map because I know we mowed it. So I think part of it does need to have a second application of fertilizer, but the rest doesn't. I know one of you mentioned why don't I just mow it before I do it. You're right. I could, and I did do it on some of those over there. But the big problem is going to be in in in. Well, it's not a big problem, but you, you spend more money on the second application of fertilizer if you don't. Uh, utilize the grass that's there, right? Because you got to put fertilizer down. Uh, yeah, this one it needs a little bit, not much, but it needs a little bit. And then we can drill this field too today. So not bad. This has gotten to be a little bit better than what I was initially anticipating. Now we don't currently have anything. Um, where is the? We currently don't have anything for. Um, Fixing our equipment, so we're gonna have to fix them down here, and I believe it's here. I think this is, I think this is where I just saw it at. If I find the trigger, come on, there it is. Yep. So we'll repair it up. But this is gonna be great. This is gonna be much better as well for um, our pit, right? Utilizing this for the pit. Uh, this is gonna be night and day. It's gonna help us so much. We'll be able to put more grass in the pit now. I said having to utilize that little 
Uh, tractor that's really meant for uh, doing grapes, not for what we're trying to make it do. Inside looks nice. Even though it's used, it's still in really good condition. Pretty happy with it. Let's get back here and uh, let's get the... Uh, well, I guess we'll get the fertilizer out and then we'll uh, get the drill out. We can drill the one field and we'll go from there. That field is done. This tractor is fantastic. It was not bouncing around on me at all. This is this is going to be so much better for us. Now there is one thing I wanted to go look at real quick before we uh, continue on here. Uh, it involves us getting on Jester. We, you know we have to ride Jester every day anyway, so might as well jump on him um, and we'll uh, go take a little bit of a, a gallop gallop out there and uh, take a look at it. It's when I was working on uh, showing you the mini-map with the trees and everything, there's something I don't think we looked at yet on our farm. But to be fair, we really haven't gone that far that way with Jester at all, but uh, we did kind of go the vicinity I want to go in um, over there towards these trees, but there was something we clearly missed. I don't think, I just think we didn't drive, or drive, right all the way around. Um, can I please get on? Thank you. I just don't think we actually uh, rode Jester all the way around the backside of that tree section there. There's something in the middle there. It's like a like a cutout area. If we go on the map here, once we get closer, you'll see what I'm talking about. You can kind of see it coming into into view there on the map. You see, there's an opening in between those trees. I never really noticed that. So let's go take a look at it. Now there looks like there is an entrance to it in the very far back there, but we're just gonna kind of 
try to go at it straight ahead, right through the forest here. And let's just see what we come up on. I don't know if it's hilly, flat, who knows? Probably hilly. I would think it'd be hilly. Uh, yep, here it is. It is very, very hilly indeed. Now, you probably could put something maybe up here. What is this? What is that? Just like a piece of gold. But I can't pick it up. Weird. Huh. Okay, well, we found a piece of gold, I guess. So let's ride back down here and see how you're supposed to come into it. Okay. So it's relatively flat back here. But I don't think this is our land anymore. Could be wrong, but I don't think it is. Uh, no. Our land is just at the edge of the tree line here. Okay, well. Good. Good deal. But if we come over this way and uh, go over these hills, pretty steep hills, honestly, we will be uh, right back to where our wood chips are. Now, there's a small amount of wood chips left in there. You can see it just flipped over to 10 o'clock, and uh, we made a little bit of money off of it. Not a ton, but a little bit. So, like I said, I will try to utilize um, the wood chips sparingly. Um, I, I don't want to take down the whole entire forest and, and make a million dollars real quick. Like, that's, that's just unfair and unrealistic. So... Uh, I'm going to utilize it to help us out, but I'm not going to uh, go overboard with it. So whenever I do some logging off camera, it'll be, I don't know, uh, if, if I make 100000 or 200000 just to be able to get some things put down that we want, mills and things like that, we're going to go for it. Um, but again, it, every sing I won't be doing it every single episode. It'll be every handful of episodes or so just to make sure that we're not... Um, Going overboard and, and, and feel we don't feel like it's cheating too much, right? Similar to how we have been working and utilizing the uh, Tree Devour mod, right? Oop. I just hit the wrong button on Jester. Where did he go? Alright, cleaning this is good. He should be good. His health is 100%. That's what we wanted to see. Good. Good, good, good. Fitness is getting up there because we're riding him every day. Capacity is up there. Needs a little bit of root crop, but again, we're going to have to wait on that. I put soybeans in here, as you can see, so it's going to be a bit anyway uh, before we get a root crop and, and the harvester and everything for it. So we did that. Uh, it's got a nice 96% fertilized done there. In the next episode, what my goal is, is to knock down a few more trees, obviously. And we're going to mow some grass and put it in here. And we'll likely um, kind of expand out uh, the big field up there. Right? We got rid of all the trees that were in the way for it. <clears throat> all the trees that were in the way for it. So now it's just a matter of us actually cultivating it up so we can actually put something in the ground. It's going to take a lot. It's probably going to take multiple trips with... Uh, I still have the cultivator just sitting there. Multiple trips, um, you know, uh, back and forth to the shop, picking up uh, seed and fertilizer just to be able to get this done. It's going to take a while. We could probably could potentially put in our little buying uh, silo, right, where we can buy seed and fertilizer, maybe. Might be a little cheaty, too. I don't know. I have to kind of revisit the rules a little bit, um, or at least the, you know, the rough rules of what we should attempt to and not attempt to do. Uh, but these fields, I believe, let me just double check that before we close the episode out completely. Uh, I did miss some sections. Well, we're gonna have to go touch that up before we end in. So, hold that thought for a minute. We are not fully done yet. Little bonus action. But again, like I said, this is gonna be a little bit of a shorter episode because of the unfortunate situation uh, I got myself into with being uh, stranded from a hurricane, so... Uh, I've got to get a couple of these done, and, and this one, um, a lot of right now what I'll be doing anyway is a lot of off-camera work, uh, or a lot of the exact same thing I've been doing. So I don't want to, you know, do that too much and bore you all, so. Uh, you got a good section, I think, of everything today. A little bit of everything. It's just a matter of me, uh, continuing on here off-camera a little bit and, and getting more of this set up. Like, if I can get that big field all cultivated... I think that's uh, I think that's a win, right? I don't I don't think I need 
to cultivate that entire thing. That 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 time lapse of cultivating that entire field would probably be. Let's see, that'd probably be 25, 30 minutes, maybe 35 minutes of real time, which would end up being about, what's that, um, a 14, uh, yeah, 14 minute time lapse? <laughs> that's, uh, that's not really what the time lapse is for. A time lapse is not for having a 14 minute time lapse. Sometimes when I have, you know, five, six minute time lapses, I think those are way too long, so, um, we're, we're not going to, uh, do that. We're not going to put you through that. These fields I'm making are way too big. I know that. Uh, I really probably should cut that one in half up there that we've been talking about, right? We've been talking about potentially cutting it in half. I probably should do it, and maybe that's what we end up doing between now and the next episode. Maybe I cut it in half, and I do half of it off camera, and the other half I do with you on camera. Maybe that's the way to go about it. But we'll see. Sorry, I keep flipping in and out of the... Uh, the menu. I just don't have a better way to really figure out where I've been and where I haven't been. But we'll see. Um, we'll see how it goes. Um, we're going to run out of fertilizer here, so whenever we run out of fertilizer, we're just going to call it good uh, on these fields. Again, they don't need to be perfect, but as long as they're mostly fertilized for the full second application, we'll get a good yield out of it, and, that, and that's really what matters. We've got a lot of good stuff in here. A lot of good stuff gonna make us a lot of money barley wheat oat and now soybeans I probably should be putting uh, a sorghum or something in there right because I can use that for flour but I want to put some soybeans in because uh, I know I can make some good money off of soybeans and uh, the soybeans should be ready ish around the time when uh, they are best to sell. So that was the main reason for that. Plus, it's the small field. We plan to do root crops with that anyway. And hopefully by then, I would suspect that we'll have plenty of money. Well, plenty of money is not the correct word. But we'll have enough money to be able to afford doing all the the required or owning all the required equipment uh, to do root crops, right? So that's kind of... Where my head's at on that. Now, our grapes, I think our grapes are doing okay. We probably need to mow them. We probably can mow those in the next episode, too. I think it needs to be mowed. Let's go take a look at that before we close this episode out. Uh, yeah, they need to be mowed. So we'll, we'll come over here and we'll, we'll get a mower in the next episode and mow this up uh, to clean this up a little bit. But they're doing good. Uh, I think they're going to be ready to harvest here probably in another two, three episodes. Uh, probably the same time as this, actually, if you're looking at the growing period. It might be one one step ahead of these, maybe. So we got a ways to go for the grapes, but uh, we can at least get the mower out and mow it because it, it definitely needs to be mowed. It's just, That grass is getting pretty long, so... We'll do that as well, and uh, I'll get all that taken care of in the next episode. And, uh, yeah, so thanks so much for watching. Thanks for your continued support, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.